All right, uh, what are we doing here? We're waiting for something? Oh yeah, we wanted to build our day to the never section, another seven days, right? Yeah, yeah, because Jubilas wants to talk on the 24th. It should be the 17th right now, seven day jump. And it looks like Tristan wants to go to level six already, not a surprise. Uh, we'll save that though. Seven day jump will put us at the 24th, so time for that region upgrade. now. Do we have something that we can put in it? Bread and circuses, Magic Kingdom, Guard Hick, or damn it! Training ground. I don't want to do training ground. Uh, damn it. Maybe I want to do the bread and circuses. Maybe I do. I mean, economy number. Let's look at that. 281. Oh, let's do Tristan. Pricey, so we're actually going to purchase uh, 100 BP just to make sure that we have more than enough. This is our final chance to prepare for the ancient curses upon us. Okay. Oh, balls! I forgot to put people in their jobs and tell them to get to work. <laughs> Oopsie noodles. That's why we save. Okay, back to this. Uh, sure. Fine. Yeah, it's an opportunity, but I want to pass it. It was sixty-five, though. Another sixty-five, sure. Not good with a thirty-one. Okay. Now, oh, I forgot to buy more. Damn it. No, we're still stable, so I guess we're okay. We were broke, though. Need a curse. These guys are a hop, skip, and a jump from being done. See, no problem. And you may say, well, what's the big deal? These guys will be done in plenty of time to, to put them on the fourth month. I've had this multiple times now where it's told me, oh, you got to be done by the fourth month. But they give it to you in the second month like this. And the bastards lie. And at the th uh, start of the third month, we fail this. But I don't think there's a way around it. Because the people that we need, uh, Reg and Keston, Reg is doing something that's a problem that we have to deal with. And... Keston is doing something that we have to deal with. Okay, so wait. Now, there might be a way. Hold on a second. Let's look at... Oops. Let's look at this one. And again, we have Jubilos Retrition for this, so we're, we're fine. Now, let's let's think about this uh, logically. Okay. Part of our problem uh, is not enough time to, to finish this shit in the, a lot of time, right? So remember, we just did a 14-day a jump and a 7-day jump. That was 21 days. So if we go back to the, the third of the month, and instead of doing it in the order of 14 and 7, if we do 7, then 14, we may be able to pull some of this off. So let's take a look at that. Uh, I'm going to quick save it first, because if not, we'll have to come back to the spot anyway. Now we want to load from the third of the second month. I'm sure I hard saved that right here. Let me make sure. Yeah, we have multiple spots that are the third. So and the only reason that matters to me is in case I've done stupid, something stupid like put them on their job already. No, 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 no not that. No. Yeah, this is before they play, so we should be good here. Well, let's go here. That should work. Okay. Now. So 7 and 14. See if that's any better. Alright. Um, take him off of that for the time being. Region. Card headquarters can't do it. Trading ground 
could do it, but I don't want to. Bren Circus is the one we're going to do, I think. Yeah. Okay. So this is the one we're going to do. Uh, let's just have Jeeva Loss to it. It doesn't matter. Uh, we have money. But let's purchase more. I'm going to buy two. Eh, 100. Keep it, keep it low. All right. Now, quick save it. The question is, are we going to get some events that we can put people on? That's the real goal here. Triumph, community instability for illicit hunters, sure. Triumph for stability, arson's loss. Any events? Good neighbors, can't put them on it yet. That's it, that's, all. that's the best we got. Oh shit. We might not be able to do the trick where we do 7 and 14, or 14 and 7. Uh, watch this. Uh, this isn't something I'm doing. I'm just doing this to illustrate a point. On the 12th, we got this one. Sounds good. We can do this all the way until we get... Um, what are we looking for here? The Storyteller. Um... Remember, it finishes on the 28th of the month. So if these are 13-day increments, you see this? 13 days. So the, the, we have to stop doing this skip-a-day, skip-a-day, skip-a-day when we get to 15, the 15th day, because 15 plus 13 is 28. That's the end of the month. So that's the best-case scenario. Still don't have him on this, but that's okay because we know that he's going to be on it. Uh, it'll be all he can do this month. The problem is, is it was Keston, I believe, that we needed. Triumph. Another 13 days. Now, skip a day, skip a day, and happy with Jubilos being on that one. Let's see, Reg and Keston. However, wait, oh, we're okay because Reg can do it now. Okay, okay, okay. So, like I said, I'm not doing this officially. That's why I wasn't adding coins to these guys. Let's take a look to see if I needed to though. Ninety-five, he's fine. Uh, 31. Yeah, we need coins. Okay, so let's go back to our earlier save. Now, this means we won't get to do a 14-day rank up, is all this means. Um, or, no, yeah, it really does mean 14-day rank up, because uh, 14 and 3 would have been 17, and that would have been beyond what we could do if we put everybody on the 13-day, because that would have been 30. Yeah, so this is our chance. All right, so we have this, and we want to do a region upgrade, right? Have a money buy it. Start it. Two things will be done. Triumph. Success. And a new event. And again, he's busy with that. So now we do a quick save. Skip a day. Put someone on this. Start it. Skip a day. Someone on this. She needs a coin. Start it. Skip a day. This is why we needed Reg on this one as soon as possible because he can finish this by the 26th and he is available then before the end of the month for that other weird ass thing. It's really freaking weird to have to do this, but again, scum saving is saving the day here. Uh, did I do that right? Yes. Uh, because we're jumping around a lot, I'm going to do another quick save. Hunting, Lindsay, happy to let her do it. Triumph, very nice. Oh, nice. One of the is a better one than last time. One of the new mosaics in the temple prominently displays a portrait of the king, and quite a favorable one at that. Apparently, I have a good leg. Very nice, buddy. Thank you. 
and put them on this one at 65. I'm okay with that. Okay. Destin, 55. It's good enough. Skip a day. Skip a day. Now this one again, we have to wait. Oh, no, not this one. Sorry. Two blocks can do this one. Sure. Uh, skip a. This one we'll have to wait for Reg to be available. But he will be. So, he'll be available on the 26th, though. So, we want to do hard save here. Save game. And we're just going to skip the day. Actually, let's go to the throne room first. Because we probably had artisans that want, want to talk to me and give me gifts. See if they show up. Anybody? Anyone? Anyone at all? Give me your shit, dragon. What you got? He has an ironclad will. Yep. Thank you. Uh, something from you. Give me that one-handed axe just because. And, oh, Mim. What up with my hat, Mim? Yeah. What do we say we want from her again? A ring? Yeah. Yeah. Give me a ring. Okay. All uh, right. What you got? What you got? What you got? Okay. And go back in here. Save that mess. Save a day. Skip a day. Ancient curses upon us. Attack in two weeks. So again, that's not. We have two weeks to do it. We have four weeks to do it. Two weeks before it starts, and then two weeks of. So we should be 28 days out. So if you look at your journal, and look for your curses, 28 days out, like I said. All right. Save that. Save it all. Final chance to prepare. Yep, yep, yep. So we're still waiting for Ridge, but we're also waiting for the 24th to go talk to Jubilos. Success. A white deer with bloody antlers has, uh, was seen in the forest. Could it be a sign uh, sent by Ursula himself? Whatever lies behind these stories must be uncovered. It's revealed to the high priest in a dream that a local cleric of Aristotle fell in love with a young peasant girl and killed her fiancé in a jealous rage. The god's followers found the dead body in the forest, brought the murder to justice, and Aristotle's good graces were restored. Now, we didn't get the triumph like last time, but it's still a solid plus four to divine, and I'm okay with that. Now, it is the 24th. Remember, we were supposed to meet Jubilos on the 24th this month in the tavern. We have to go do that now. And as long as we're back before the end of this month to put uh, Reg or Keston on that other quest, uh, we should be fine. So come on out. To the tavern. Okay. Now... Last time I did this yesterday, I had an issue. Uh, I'm going to show you how I solved that issue first. So you wonder why I'm doing what I'm doing. It is because of the issue. So. Notice we're alone. Uh, and I have the ability to wear this cloak of heroism. Okay. This allows me to cast heroism on myself once a day. It lasts for 20 minutes. Okay. Now. As soon as you do that, you can take the dead cloak off because it doesn't do you damn bit of good otherwise. But that plus two was a plus two to all my skills. And there's going to be a skill check coming up over here. And that's why we did what we did. So come over here. Here's Juby. Notice he's hanging around this chick here. Looks like that's our moon. I'd like to know what uh, leaving her path means to her and more importantly how all this is related to the story of the gnomes. I hope we're about to find out. Jubilas clears his throat to attract her attention. Luna, moon girl, a girl with unusual silver-gray hair is looking gloomily into her mug of ale. As she notices Jubilas clearing his throat, she raises her face and brightens. Oh, they told me that the king of the Betuana walks the streets and feasts with everyone at the taverns, but I never believed it. Oh, forgive me, your highness. I am Luna Katari. You have an unusual name. I was born with bright silver hair. The midwives never saw an asthma before. They were frightened, but my mother not a bit. She said her daughter's hair was silver like the moon, which meant I was blessed by Desna, hence the name. Actually, I've always been drawn to faraway countries, like anyone touched by the moon goddess, and I've never been beyond the river kingdoms. 
and besides. Tell us about yourself. I am a messenger. I deliver correspondence from Brevoy to Miven and back, usually reports about a rich merchant's underlings and his orders for them. My parents live in Brevoy and the girl I love in Miven. I've always dreamed of becoming a traveler, but that's not easy for the daughter of a weaver and a washerwoman. I was glad to find this messenger job, though. I thought that was pretty lucky. But now I'm traveling the same road over and over every month. I even sit right here in your tavern on the 24th of every month, right on schedule. The monotony is driving me to tears, but what can I do? I can't be everywhere at once, and I can't stand the thought of settling down. Jubilas, who was listening surprisingly carefully, leans over to you and says quietly, Do you see it now? When Moon leaves her path, it's another part of the riddle. Looks like uh, we need to somehow convince her, our new friend, to quit her well-trodden path and set off somewhere new. Plus, it would be good for her. The same road each month. If I were her, I'd have drawn myself a long time ago if I didn't bleach sooner. This is why I needed the extra persuasion. The plus two. It's a 31 otherwise. And I need a 35 to pass. I failed it yesterday. Now, of course, I had a save before, so I just did the same thing. I used the cloak, buffed myself to a 33, and pass it. Now all I need is a two or better, which means on a crit failure, you will still screw it up. And again, we couldn't bribe her, but what's the fun in that? And this is an extra XP. If this tr life troubles you, something should be changed. Your family and friends want you happy, not exhausted, and hating your existence. Success and a big chunk of XP. You speak with such confidence. It is, is it true you came to the Stolen Lands as no one and made yourself king by your own persistence and skill? I've heard so many stories. Your Highness, I wouldn't have taken this advice from anyone but you, but I've just decided I'm going to travel, and I hope not alone. We'll surely be able to earn a piece of bread together. Please take this. It's a relic my family received from an elven ancestor. According to the family legend, the one who deciphers the map will find three things, an incredibly sad secret, a true treasure, and a door to another world which will never open again. The entrance to a certain dungeon is marked here, but there is nothing to say where to go looking. You're a king. With all the best scientists and travelers serving you, surely you'll be able to read this map. Thank you again. Now I have to go. Got me a map, bitch. Uh, yeah, map time. All right, Jimmy, what do got? Ha, Moon has left her path, but now who can explain to me why the host didn't simply tell us go to the dungeon located here? Why make us run around in circles? But let's have a look at this map. What do we have here? Well, I recognize the area around the candle mirror at first glance. There are ancient ruins in this area. This dungeon must contain the traces of every, uh, the very first gnomes to visit Galarian. Well, our goal is clear. Now we need only achieve it. K from Luna's map has been revealed. Item received, Luna's map. Another big chunk of XP. Boom. Now, we have... Uh, is it under errands? I don't think so. It's got to be a companion quest, right? Ah, door to nowhere. Boy, the mysterious cave from Luna's map. It's time for us to bolt. Time for us to exit. And we, of course, want to take Jubilas with us, but I'm going to be smart about this and take my actual team. Uh, we're taking, oops, we're taking you, and we're taking you, and then we're taking Juby, and then we're taking Terristian, and then we're taking Ekendayo. Because I'm awesome like that. Okay. Now again, remember we have to be back by the end of the month, at least, to post him for that job, which is the 28th. So we have like four days to do this. And it's not going to take us that long, because it's just the candle mirror. It's like a hop, skip, and a jump down the goddamn road, really. Well, maybe not that close, but still, not that bad either. Come down here. Note that here's the spot, K from Luna's map. But again, we have to go this way. It will take us 13 hours that way. If I go here, teleport to Naro Keep. 17 hours, that's worse. Okay, so we want to go from the capital. Teleport from Doraville. Yeah, buddy. Go get it. Uh. Now this is good news for us because again, this is going to burn up some time. Not a bunch, but basically two days. Damn near. Getting there and back. Uh, scroll down that way. See that? We even have another thing in our kingdom to talk about. What you got to say for yourself? Success, community plus three. Sounds good to me. Good job. And again, as soon as we can get Reg on this, we need to. But that's tomorrow. So we're doing good. Uh, okay. Enter. Now, 
we are in a cave uh, surrounded by things that look like ghosts. Um, doesn't look hostile, so there's no reason to believe they're hostile. That doesn't mean you shouldn't buff up. But if you Where's wanted to be a, a pansy and you know just like run with Together it and hope for the best, stand. feel free to do that. Uh, at the very least, though, I think maybe I'm we should cast ready. at least a haste spell <laughs> on the team. Just to make sure we're zippy. Here's our ghost. Zay's ghost, no less. A flickering shadow stands before you, trembling and chanting something indistinct. It's in its silhouette you barely recognize the figure of a gnome girl dressed in rags. No, no, we need tr to try again. The door will open. I promise them. I promise. Who are you, ghost? The ghost seems not to pay any attention to you. I promise them. I promise them to open this door, to return everyone home. Bursting into a long and bleak laugh, the ghost makes a move as if she wants to run away, but then freezes and gives you a nearly attentive look. Who am I? I'm Zay, a wizard. I am the one who brought everyone here, this place. Once the Lantern King himself opened a gate from his dominion to Galarian here. He abandoned this road, but I thought I thought I could open the portal again, or ask for help from an eldest. Return all of us home. I was wrong. The door didn't open. We all lost color one by one. Lantern King. If the first world can be said to have a trickster god, no easy feat in a world where capricious reality bending mischief is standard practice for many natives, then the title belongs to the Lantern King, also known as the Laughing Lie. Generally appearing as a foot wide ball of floating light, the Lantern King has been pointed to by some as the progenitor of all will o wisps but such allegations meet with derisive laughter from the king himself. For going in an established realm of his own, the Lantern King roams as his wills through the fields and forests of the First World, and those lives he touches are rarely the same afterward. For though the Lantern King's sense of humor is vast, it can easily turn dark or incomprehensible. This is the prick that cursed What's-Her-Face, the big ball of fucking floating uh, pumpkin. Yeah. That's this dickhead. Uh, let's see, so you're one of the gnomes from the first world? What happened to you? The ghost lets out a strange sound, half moan, half dull laughter. I lived a long life there, in the first world. Many long lives. I traveled, I created, I danced upon the edge of the abyss and fell into the clouds. I died to be reborn again, and with none of my strengths and skills, but with all the memories of the wonders I'd seen. But eternity can become tedious, even for a soul that's forever young. Many older gnomes suffered it, and even before we knew what the bleaching was, sooner or later there is not enough novelty anymore, so we all grew fascinated with a new game, Death. One of the elders created it. Of course, he was just borrowing it based on his observations of the true gods. He drew a string from the River of Souls and created his own little circle of births, deaths, and judgments. Imitating the almighty Pharasma, he judged the souls that he owned and determined their further past. It was so new, so exciting. Many gnomes volunteered. If not us, then who? But those who take from the goddess of death must be ready for the consequences. The Lady of Graves brought her wrath upon this creative eldest. He was stripped of his power and forever doomed to serve in her court. And we gnomes, we were torn from the first world and bound to the river of souls, like all creatures of the material plane. Thereafter we lived like the rest, died like the rest, and learned all the pain of the bleaching. Our game had become our reality, and no longer could we tire of its fun and return to another one. Jubilas looks at the ghost shaken. It seems to be one of the rare moments that the gift of speech is lost to him. But this, I, this is not at all how I supposed it happened. Respected Zay, I understand that your condition does not allow for long conversations, but perhaps you could tell me. The ghost listens to him with eerie attention. Of course I could. I could do many things. I tried many ways to open the portal. Everything except a sacrifice, a little blood, would come in handy. And that's how we got jumped. This happened yesterday, too. That's why I did the little buff spell. Just one. Not cheating. I just like haste. It's a good spell. Uh, but we're getting mugged. And we have Ghost 1 and Ghost 2 to deal with. And again, they are ghostly. So we're going to do half damage even with magic weapons. Glad you did. But unfortunately, I can be the boss. And so is the boss. Nicely done, sir. Oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. grant me strength. Went right for the Tristan. You d bag. That didn't happen yesterday. Um, I'm going to stop with that. This will hurt. Start wailing on this doofus. Proto. 
five foot stone step. Out of my way! Now he needs to be. I am superior! Okay. Oh! Ooh, she evaded it. Good on you, Eliza. Holy shit. 22 BC, though. Not bad. Okay, so this is how we handle this problem. We stutter step away and we summon something like the bogeyman here to deal with this damn ghost of the That's what it did last time. But we didn't have Jubilos running around like a goddamn coward, and neither did Akbo. That's not good. Tristan, on the other hand, is holding strong, even though he's about to die. So we could heal him, but there's no point. We're basically in the middle of combat. What I can do, however, is summon a crap ton of skeletons between him and the ghostly guard. That's going to basically contain this bastard. And they will do damage, barely. The only reason they're doing damage, by the way, is because Tristan has uh, this. For those of you that don't know this, uh, I bought him, got him a Necromancer Staff. Plus three enhancement bonus to the weapons of the monsters summoned by uh, enemy, enemy dead or create undead. Now, why is that important? These things uh, cannot be hurt by normal weapons, and normally the skeletons have normal weapons. They're not enchanted. So, this allows them to do damage. Hell, Bogeyman's going to have a normal weapon, and as such, you'll see him attacking him. I don't think he'll do any damage because they're immune to normal damage. Oh, shit. I didn't get back in his turn. That was my bad. He's dead. Proto, uh, why don't you beam the shit out of that guy? Notice that that's half damage as well. Divided by two. So again, even magic spell stuff is going to be half. Lies on the other hand, this is not magic damage. I think he takes the full amount. Nope, he only takes half of that too. Whoa, you just straight up boss. You will not stop that. Stop pinballing. Tristan, uh... Why don't you... Uh, they don't have bones, of course they don't have bones. Why would this be easy? Wow, Rifa, he evaded out of it. Screw you, game. Skeletons come over and kick you in the teeth. Alright. Deepest fear. <laughs> uh, the ghost freezes, holds herself by the shoulders, and sways back and forth, repeating over and over, I promised, I promised, I promised. That's rather a foolish performance, little ghost. You staged a fine series of foolish performances of the playing the game of death, contacting an eldest not known for his mercy, trying to open a door that leads nowhere. But who are we addressing? Greetings, Dora. And of course you, most persistent of researchers. We see you solved our riddle. Jubilas folds his hands on his chest. We did, and I might still fail to understand why you sent us the long way around instead of just telling us everything from the beginning. Some truth must be discovered to be known, or seen with your own eyes. The host nods at the pile of gnome bones and the shivering ghost. Is what Zay told us true? About the game of death and Phrasma's punishment? Yes. One of our eldest brothers thought he could steal from a deity, and the gnomes that answered his call thought they could play at death. Death decided otherwise. Is there any way to change what happened and help the gnomes? If there is, we know nothing of it. The eldest can do many things, but as you both know, it is not enough to confront a deity, especially one such as Phrasma. We have learned our lesson and do not play with the toys of others. Does that mean that this was all in vain? Of course not. The journey is often more important than the destination. Be satisfied with the secret you have won. The day I can simply be satisfied is with, uh, with something I'll bleach. You say we learned our lesson. So you're one of the eldest hosts? You hear laughter from under the hood. Oh, we're tired of answering this question and the many others that follow it. Ask us again next time, especially since the next time for you will be one of the first times for us. Why are you here? The right question at last. As I suspect, you've realized there's no way to save all the gnomes from the bleaching. You cannot return them to the first world and restore their connection to their homeland. And even if there were a sufficiently desperate and powerful creature ready to do it, their actions would not be looked on mercifully by the Lady of Graves. Though it cannot be done for all, it can still be done for one. We are ready to offer this gift as a token of our appreciation for your exciting adventure and your solution to the riddle. Do you hear, Sir Jubilos? You personally may become reconnected with the First World. 
You won't entirely uh, won't be entirely protected from death if you remain on Galarian, but you will be forever spared from the bleaching. Whenever you visit the first world, which we are aware you desire passionately, then you'll be as immortal as any fey. Julius fixes his glasses nervously. It's the only chink in his nonchalant facade. If this gift cannot help the whole gnome race, then I have no need of it. Of course, I'm not immune to vanity, but I've always been ready to share the burden of mortality with others who bear it on their shoulders. I'll even keep wearing these stupid glasses. I'll survive without immortality of the first world and face the bleaching when it comes, as all gnomes have done for me. You're doing the right thing, Jubilas. Principles are principles. I'm glad we understand each other. Well, my decision isn't changing. I decline the gift of the eldest. We aren't easy to surprise, but you manage it. Very well. A rejection is a rejection, but gifts of the eldest are not so easy to withdraw from the world. They must find an owner somewhere, one way or another. So what should we do? To whom shall we grant what was promised? Ooh, ooh, me, me. I want to be immortal. Give it to me. I want me. I'll take it. Maybe the gift will help Zay, the exhausted. That exhausted ghost deserves some peace. Nah. Bitch, try to kill me. Uh, the gift should be given to some living gnome who is this moment dying of the bleaching. Let our adventures help at least someone. Yes, that's the best thing we could do. What do you say, host? Can you take what you're offering me and give it to some other gnome instead? Anyone you choose who is suffering from the bleaching. Oh, that's even more interesting. I see this has all been for a reason. Our choice, you say? Very good. We'll make a choice and save one lost soul. We already have, in a way. We have rejected the gift, Jubilas Narthropple, but we will not leave you without any reward at all. We offer you a trifle, the chance to sometimes glimpse eternity in the corner of your eye, just as we do. Now you can remember the history of things. Those who wander searching for mysteries and ancient relics might find this skill useful. And now, farewell. When you finally succumb to the bleaching, you may remember this moment. I wonder what you think will think then. Only time knows. Big Algon chunk of XP. Yeah. Bad ass Juju B. Now, for those of you not paying attention, uh, we have a buff for Jubilost. Uh, you need to actually go look for it, though. No. No, where the hell is it? Aha, right there. Perfect understanding. See that other plus 10? Perfect understanding. If you look under abilities here, this is what he just got. Jubilast gains plus 10 on knowledge arcana skill checks. Remember why I said that his knowledge arcana was actually going to be, you know, I mentioned this a while ago, that his knowledge arcana was going to be amazing, and I wanted it to be a class skill slash trait. This was part of the reason. I made sure that we invested in this specifically so his competence or his uh, trait bonus would go towards this uh, because, again, he was going to be really, really good at intelligence, and why not be really, really good at Knowledge Arcana? So he is rocking a solid, solid 33 right now. He's only invested 14 ranks in it. That's pretty baller. He has one of the highest intelligence of the team. Not as good as mine, but still a respectable brain on that boy. Uh, so let's bounce out of here. That was a pretty cool fight. I must admit, that was definitely fun. This time around, though, it was a little different because, again, they did mug us. A uh, matter of fact, we should probably check to make sure we don't have like negative energy levels or anything like that. Uh, we can worry about that later, though. That was cool, though. And then again, I did this one last night, too. So, I already knew the outcome. And the on that uh, outcome, uh, we could have done the ghost. I don't know what would have happened. I've never picked it. But uh, I do know that if you want one of Jubilas' quote-unquote best endings, you want him to offer it to any gnome that's currently alive. Uh, I don't want to tell you more than that. Kind of, kind of spoils the fun. But you will find out by the end of the game, if you survive till the end, what happened. And it's a very cool ending, in my opinion. Now, we're back home. I think we might need to talk to Jubilost again. Let's do a quick check. But if not, I think we have a green check mark on that. And it's time to get ready for our curse. Which means we probably only got like a day or two to get ready. Uh, companion quests, a door to nowhere. It's all done. All right, so his quest is complete, and that is the end of his quest, I believe. So we are finished there. Let's come up here. Is there anything to do? Yeah. Nope. Oh, I need to give that uh, shield to you, Mr. Harem, sir. And again, I still maintain that. Right, give me a shield. It is a badass shield. 
I still maintain that. Uh, I want to sell his other one. How may I serve you? I uh, want to get rid of this thing. Child for money. All right. Um, we're never going to use that staff. Might as well just sell it. Keep holding on to it, thinking we're going to touch it again, but nah. It's only a plus one staff. It's nothing special. If we had gotten it earlier, it would be something for a monk build. Especially a strength-based monk build. Could have some serious farm whooping on somebody's ass with that shit. Uh, so again, we're still waiting for Reg. He's done in a day. So there's no reason not to skip a day, except for the fact that we have been out on the open road and cast spells. So might as well, in my opinion, rest. So press F5 to save. Press R to rest. And hopefully either the day has advanced and he has passed his check, or we'll have to go back to an earlier save spot. Now. Nope. Oh, so we can skip a day. So, quick save again. Skip a day. Success. Military plus three. The advisory servants talk to the soldiers, encourage them to band together, and give the peasants a proper thrashing. That very night, soldiers appeared in every tavern and crushed the local bullies. The people wiped off their bloody faces and agreed that the ruler's servants are more privileged than the rabble. Okay. Usual visitor has Rai. We got a golem. Ah, yeah, this happened yesterday, too, but we did not get to it. Uh, so let's put Reg on this. 65, more than enough to pass. Now, notice something here. We are actually current. We are actually doing well for ourselves here. Quick save and a hard save before we go to the throne room. What I mean is we have not failed anything recently. And it doesn't look like we're going to as long as I scum save this shit. So that's some good news. Because yesterday I had failures. So by thinking about it, I guess the one positive thing of losing all those hours of video recording was we actually got something out of it this time around. Making sure we didn't have any failures. What do they have to say for themselves? Yeah, this is the uh, harem quest. The end of it, I should say. Adamantine Golem, help us. Help, help. Comes in and collapses in a freaking heap. And they're bas uh, basically the same people that had this... Uh, Gollum was uh, asking us for help, the Skeggy clan. So how do you like that? Again, someone needs our help, and again, it has to do with these Gollums. Does any of this seem familiar, Dora? Those simpletons from the Skeggy clan must have dug up something else and got themselves into trouble again. Priest remarks are punctuated by a terrible clang sound as the Gollum collapses on the floor in pieces and just disintegrates. Uh, and I warned them. They were wooing death. I warned them. Let's return to that little fortress that they couldn't sit inside and see what's happened to them this time. Yes, we need to go check on them. Just don't go without me, all right? I want to see with my own eyes what the catastrophe they've wrought this time, all the while praying to their Torag. He's kind of a dick about this. But he ain't wrong. They're screwing shit up. Uh, and yesterday I messed up by not bringing the Demolisher Heavy Pit Construct Bane. Remember, we're going to be fighting Constructs. So if you want an Adamantine Construct Weapon, here you go. Now, the question is, who can use that because they need to be the one coming with me? Uh, can you use it? No. How about you? No. Harem? Harem can. Okay. So we'll let Harem wield it. Uh, matter of fact, let's let Harem just wield it right goddamn now. He's going to go there and pick him in the face. Uh, was there anything that we needed to bring these doofuses? Because this was one of those people that um, Noyari gave it to him, I believe. Either that or we have it currently on our person. I'm there. We had to give them the Heart of the Anvil or whatever the hell that thing was called. Big ass hog and gems, remember? Uh, we got one from the Anvil. And then uh, Harem got one more. Something similar, I should say, from uh, that first golem he destroyed for them. He unmade it, remember? And the reason that's important is if you give them both those, they will gift you armor. And I think this will be what gives it to us. Uh, quick save, just in case. Uh, leave. And we have to put together the team. And this time, Harem's coming with. She'll come in, but she'll be uh, range. 
And we'll have you and we'll have you. You know what? No. We always bring him. Oh, we always bring him because he's good. Yeah, fine. I was going to bring um, Octavia. But and then she takes away from all my Raza pizzazz. My character magic too. And I'm almost as good as she is. Really, I am. Um, we have a kingdom. Yeah, visitor of the king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No big deal. That was just to remind us that we were talking to Heron already. Okay. Quick save. Well, we have it over here. See, uh, Dwarven Fortress. But it's closer to Tatzelford. So you want to teleport to Tatzelford. Uh, and seven hours later, we're inside. Beep, boop. Oh, I want to make sure that we have officially put him on that quest. Okay, just making sure. Sometimes I put him on it without saying except. She's done in 14 days, so as long as nothing happens in the next day, which is basically just Lindsay turning something in. And again, she might pass it, so we have it saved, is my point. As long as we're back out by the 28th, uh, before the 28th, and save again, we don't have to worry about um, her failing that check. We can scum save it. And we have plenty of time before the 28th. Because I believe it's early morning on the 27th right now. Let's find out. Yeah, 5.30 in the morning. So unless we burn like 19 hours or so here, we're going to be fine. Uh, I will save it hard style though, so we don't have to worry about it. And again, we are coming in on a fight. It's time so you to better be able to buff up. Get uh, your ass over here, dummy. I want you to click this on Get yourself some of that bow drink on you. Get the pretty wings on her. Pretty wings on you. See the golem. I will not falter. Ona Adayana. Ona Adayana. Nice investment for her. He did himself some sort of faith on himself. Got off a blessed spell, bro. You're not using your freedom of movement oh, mace no, anymore because you got the pick. So we're gonna give no that one just in case. Get yourself some blur no, kit. No, image. Two no, blocks. Give yourself oh, shield spell. Give one to Ekin. Expedition retreat. Give one to Ekin. Drink your uh, mutagen for dexterity. Give yourself blood. Give one to Give dexterity to Harem. And me. And I don't think he needs dexterity. Give heroism though to me. If I need to make sure I win. And air walk to. Perfect. She needs to switch weapons. Like so. Quick save. Ah, he can do bark skin now. Do the hurricane bow. That's a maw. Animal growth. We'll do it the hard way. All right. Uh, again. Cannot hide from me. Pow. In the face. Just to see that damage reduction. 29 damage, only 14 went through. So they got like a 15 DR here. Uh, and that's piercing, so... It's got to be the adamantine. Lock bow. Come all the way up in here. I want to use you as bait, kiddo. There's more than one, as you can see, in the area. There's one that was right at the hell up here. Uh, Dora, delay your turn till the end. Eliza, you can 
Some of the Moji man right there on top of this doofus. He's immune to it, not surprising, but that's okay. Proto. Five foot stutter step this way. Let's hear you Snake attack, hey, nice. Uh, Jubilos turn. He may not be able to reach him with those, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move him a lot. Right over here behind Okmo. Harem, he's the one with the adamantine axe thingy. Now it's my turn. Okay, so hop over here and control fireball. Let's just see if it does anything. Probably not. Yeah, I'm immune to fireball. Shit. What do we know about these things? Bewildering injury. That must have come from uh, our sneak attack. Uh, it's a thirty level thirty construct. Neutral. A lot of strength. A lot of hit points. It's got okay ref uh, reflex, fortitude, and will. Not amazing. But it's immune to spells. Death, stun, drain, ability score damage, poisons, charms, fears, compulsions. Yeah, basically everything. Okay, so we're going to have to melee the shit out of it. I, now, having said that, immune to spells doesn't mean immune to every spell. For instance, um, uh, web spell would work on these guys because it's not a spell resistance type spell. So. Nowhere to run. Jeez, you only need like a three to pass that. Oh, all right. Um, I know it says they're immune, but I want to prove it to myself. They're not immune to those. Okay, so those are not spells as far as the game is concerned. So they take damage from that shit. And apparently not immune to fire. That's to our benefit, at least. Uh, Proto, five foot stutter step that away, Han, and then Die! unload on him. Hey, you got him once. I'll take it. Oh no, he's smacking around, Bogey. Jubilos, you're coming all the way over here, bro. And force bombing the shit out of him. Boom. He had money in his pockets. Where's the other one, you little bastard? I'll take my mistake. Way. I can die. Uh, oh, hey, shoot that proof. fool. I think there's another one up the stairs as well. Uh, Okpo, I know this way, if you would, sir. Dora. Don't you? Eh, slow spell's not going to work, but uh, this is another example of one that might work on. Because again, see, no spell resistance. He made his will save, though, the bastard. Alright, fair enough. Proto, do me a solid, hon, and give me some Skeletors out here. Not as good as Tristan's, but they are good fodder. Jubilos. Primitives! I grant you death. see if there's anything up here while your teammates are dealing with all that crap. Doesn't appear to be. Okay. It's your turn. Dora's turn. Dora, why don't you come over here? See if you can find that other bastard that's... There he is! Ah! Okay, so we're coming all the way back down here now. Now that he saw us and he's probably on the queue for coming to fight us. Harem. Come over here, though. Three pent. Oh, harem, you big pansy. Hey, he was flat-footed. Harem, what the hell? Okay, you guys got some solid armor. 
Eliza. Oh, you might as well just do that thing. Almost dead already. Bogey! I'm gonna bogey man. Uh, five foot stutter step that away, madam. And I'll. I'll another fine example of a spell we could use on reduce of damage. No ball! And again, 66 plus 6 sneak attack with that shit. That's some solid, solid damage. Get him, buddies. Jubilos. I don't know what to do. Will they ever learn? Bye, -bye now. Bye bye. Alright, back in this way. Cannot hide from me. Trounced him thoroughly. All right, Dora. Charge this fool. Yeah, you can. And do meager damage. Good job, Dora. It's not how it's done here. It's not how it's done here. Eliza's turn. Yeah, but then Fuego. Yeah, damage. Barely touched, so we need some help here, guys. So, uh, Don't do that to my team, you doofus. Who did you just hit? Ekin. Oh, immune to it. Hey! Oh, hey, that's awesome. That's because of this. Immunity compulsion, so that's got to be crushing despair. Let's see. Uh, crushing despair. Compulsion. That's nice. That makes those uh, pets so much better than right on, right on. Okay. Um, proto. He's within range of your crossbow, so move just the tiniest bit to Run make sure them that. through. A whole lot of nothing, kid. I won't lie to you. All right, GGB. I'm gonna need you to bomb the shit out of this guy to death. Think you got it in you, bro? I'm gonna need all the fire or the force bombing you can. Uh, do. Fine use of my talents. Nowhere to run. Sucking wind there, I can. Akbo. I'd say he's dead. Alright, let's loot some bodies. Jarmold down there. Help him. So one of them had money and the other one didn't. Uh, Rudrin Skeggy. Um, Harem, can you throw boxes. off an uh, AoE heal? I don't know if that was necessary for them, but uh, I don't like them being down on the ground begging for help and us walking right past them without throwing out a heal. Alright, so basically it's inside that where this problem is going to arise. I uh, noticed Jubilos is yes. taking it on the chin, though, and we definitely need to make sure that he is healed. The intro's near. And we have a level up for Eliza. Uh, finally going to level 15. 14 Inquisitor. Now she has Exploit Weakness. When the Inquisitor scores a critical hit, she ignores any damage reduction the target might have. In addition, if the target has regeneration, the creature loses regen on the round following the critical hit and can die normally during that round. However, creatures whose regeneration always functions are immune to this ability. I have no idea what that last statement means. But, this is, uh, let's see, 1, 4, 7, 10, 13. This is one level away from her getting the kick-ass, um... 
level six spells. So it's still a level five. Put that up there, and that's looking real nice. Real nice abilities you got to go in for you, kid. Uh, okay. And come on. Are there any spells that we'd like to replace? They all look good to me. Alright. Uh, what are we going to grab for her? So we got our crane repost. So we got all our crane stuff up. Power attack is her thing. Uh, she's going to use size. We know that. So I might want to do um, weapon focus size. Is there any other stuff that I can do for her to make her awesome? Toughness could be okay. Corning and Smash. Oh, do we have the Shattered Defenses yet? No, we do not. Oh, we're not even doing that for her. Yeah, because we would need um, three feats to do it. We would need one for Weapon Focus Size, for instance. Another one for Dazzling Display because you need a weapon focus to pick that, and then Shattered Defenses could be the last one, and that's just a waste by that point. Um, hmm. Mage Tattoo could be fun. Uh, of course, she has Spell Focus in something, so we could probably do Greater Spell Focus, but she has her Superior Summoning already. Mage Tattoo would be in, in Conjuration, so the, any Conjuration spell that she has would be one caster level higher. Remember, we lost the caster level because of the Monk Dip. So we'll get their Conjuration spells to level 20 again, which isn't the worst idea ever. We do have her additional traits. Hmm. We don't have any meta magics though yet, do we? Let's give her a meta magic. Now the question is what? Dazing, no. Elemental, no. Empower, meh. Extend, could be okay. Remember, she casts a lot of buffs. And having those buffs last twice as long is not the worst thing I have forever. Remember, she's a spontaneous caster, though, so any meta magic is going to take a full combat round to fire that shit off. Still okay. I just need to remember that. Uh, heighten, eh. Intensified. She has some spells that would be useful for Intensified, but not many. Um, hmm. Actually, you know, I need to do something real quick first. We need to actually look at her character sheet. It's been so long since we've done this character that I need to see what her additional traits were in. So, her additional traits were in. Yeah, here we go. Outlander Missionary. Cure Serious Wounds. Wait, 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 what is this in? Pick three spells when you choose this trait. And every cast these spells, you get a plus one trait bonus to caster level and DC. You get a plus one trait bonus to lower religion. Okay, so. These are like caster level 20 for her by the end of the build. Cure serious wounds, cure critical wounds, and heal. Okay, nothing wrong with those. Uh, you can't intensify heal. You can intensify these two, but I don't think it's worth it. Um, honestly, reach is not the worst idea for her. She has Blade of the Society, and what else? Suspicious. Perception. What was the other traits that she picked up early in the build? So here she has her emotional drawback. She gets her family heirloom. Empathic diplomat. Uh, faith trait defy madness. Yeah, okay. So she doesn't have anything that's meta magic focused. That's really my, my point. Um, let's do the Inquisitor. 14... Actually, she's, I take that back. She's two levels away from being level six spells. That's too bad. Um, so, reach meta magic might be the thing to do. Keeping all our spells. And the reason I say reach is because she has the uh, several spells that she can cast um, that are touch attacks. And if you increase them by one cast level or, or one magic level of slot. So literally a level one spell becomes level two. With this meta magic uh, she could shoot them at a distance. And while that doesn't sound impressive, if she's too far away from a friend to walk over there and touch them on the shoulder, the friend's like surrounded by bad guys or good guys even for that matter, so she can't get near them to heal them. 
without like an AOE one, which would of course heal the bad guys too. She could shoot a meta magic, say like cure serious wounds or cure uh, critical wounds at distance, 30 feet, because any touch attack becomes a 30 foot range attack or spell at that point. Um, so uh, same with her buffs. Many of her buffs have a range of touch just because they're, as long as they're not personal effect, if there are touch effects, so like I can touch a friend and give him this buff, now I can shoot that buff at the cost of it being a higher caster uh, spell level, but uh, I could shoot it at them at distance and therefore buff them if they're like out of range. So that's kind of nice in a combat situation. It's not as useful as you might think, but it's still decent, and I don't mind that as an argument for her. And it still will give her extra castings of her spells, which of course is to her benefit. Uh, but what to grab for her? Uh, first, she has resist energy communal, so she doesn't need a single. Uh, seeing Viz, she has probably, or she will have, eventually seeing Viz over here on the the big one. Um, effortless armor, no delay poison, no aid, castigate. Mm. Hmm, find traps. That'd be okay. Let's do it. Find traps. Level 5. Flame Strike and Spell Resistance can also get her... Conjuration. Remember, she's good at conjuring things, right? So uh, Conjuration spells are solid choices for her. Chains of Light. This is another Paralysis spell, but a Reflex Paralysis spell. And notice this best part. No spell resistance on that shit. So that's a solid, solid choice for her, in my opinion. Again, True Sing is another good one. Righteous Blow is another good one. And we'll probably get those, but... Uh, yeah, we'll probably get those. But um, it's one of those where it'll probably be Righteous Might next, and then True Sing after that. Swipe. I will right. see this through. Uh, you're probably on her already auto-populated or will soon enough. Okay, quick save. And on the side, guys. Nice. Actually, though, I see that it's been about three hours plus, guys. So we're going to do a save here. Unless it goes, takes us to a cutscene. save it here and with that my name is brother mutant please like subscribe and comment down below comment down below not combat comment down below tell me what you guys think of this playthrough so far and we'll see you guys soon bye now